and uh, welcome to a brand new series on my channel and we are on if you haven't already guessed the FTOG FTB Revelations server brand new server that the FTOG group has kindly offered to players who need to do an application and be whitelisted uh, I was hoping that my friend Martin Jumini wants to join me, but unfortunately she's going to be too busy uh, to do this alongside the other things that we've got planned. Uh, so I'm just going to do a solo series on it. Uh, I haven't really made any plans as yet, but I thought I'd do a quick video here at Spawn. And the first thing that we see is this awesome airship. Uh, is actually in the water but uh, isn't that just fantastic really I don't know who built it or anything on those sort of lines but just look at that beauty isn't that just absolutely gorgeous absolutely gorgeous uh, we'll go down and have a look because this is if you do decide to join the server like I say you need to do a application because it is whitelisted uh, and what you need to do is go to the ftog.net uh, website uh, then you need to get in contact with Thorgal, the leader of the group I believe and uh, to send him a DM and tell him who you are and why you want to join and as much information as you think would be needed and then you may be lucky enough to get whitelisted I can't guarantee that I'm not part of the group um, you know if you want to join I'm just letting you know how to join uh, so yeah if I remember I'll put the links in my description as well uh, but there are some rules and blacklisted items and banned items that you do have to abide by so you know bear that in mind when you do join it's uh, very cool but anyway the airship I can't really spend about a lot of time here because I am uh, I have got no food on me or, <laughs> or anything so yeah this is where you will actually start on this ship it is absolutely gorgeous uh, one of the uh, better ships I've seen in a long long time uh, so whoever built it well done and you've got the the FTOG colors there uh, their little logo and this little wheel from Draconic Evolution just imagine this little wheel powering this big ship <laughs> oh, absolutely fantastic uh, so yeah and then the use of the uh, windmills here from immersive engineering for the uh, propellers really ingenious absolutely ingenious probably built in creative I'm not I don't know obviously but even so it is I'm just all struck by it it is really nice and then you've got the smaller ship just there which is just as nice and then you've got that large frigate I'm guessing uh, which full of detail I haven't really gone over there and looked at that I don't know if you, we can actually get over there but yeah I just, I just like the airship <laughs> it's not something I see a lot of and just the steel, steel scaffolding here as a gangplank and the uh, the wires being used just to, to hold everything together really nice very well done but you come across the dock and whatnot and then you'll see all the the rules here all pretty much standard uh, there are a couple of people online as you can see uh, Nectok and Minil uh, if I'm pronouncing those names uh, I don't know them so you know uh, hopefully they'll sleep because I haven't got a bed or anything <laughs> here we go uh, but like I said it's pretty standard and then you've got some nice commands here uh, for spawn and set home and then uh, nether portal creation has been disabled so we can't create our own nether portals uh, there are no end portals in the overworld that's going to be locked for a few weeks as I understand it and then hopefully as a group we can go and kill the ender dragon uh, but that more than likely would depend on time zones and things like that so hopefully we'll get plenty of notification uh, but if you want to go to the nether we follow the firefly jars to the skull another awesome build uh, but yeah we're on this uh, little island and uh, 
this is where I started the video and we've got little fortifications all around it and all sorts very nicely done uh, very very nicely done uh, it reminds me of one of uh, Eddie Magpie my old friend uh, one of his builds how he would do stuff uh, but yeah very nice I haven't been across it. I don't think there's anything in these houses and we can't actually get in them, which is fair enough. They're just here for decoration and for showing off like I'm doing at the moment. Uh, yeah, it's just someone's imagination. Obviously it's like a pirate island or Caribbean island, something on those sorts of lines. I would say more Caribbean, it doesn't seem very piratey. Obviously a bit of steampunk, but uh, yeah, I haven't really been up here a lot of, like music note blocks for crates and and everything very cool uh, trying to figure out a way uh, down there I guess we needed to follow the the seafront um, got a beach made out of jungle wood a uh, palm tree made out of jungle wood a beach <laughs> yeah okay so, ah, here we go this looks like a the way across Okay, so we've got the giant skull. That's the only real, real pirate thing I can see here, uh, to my mind. To my mind, it's more of a Caribbean island, but I could be wrong. I could be wrong. It could be a pirate. Uh, it's, uh, yeah, very cool. And lots of blood going into here. That looks like it could be the end portal in the blocked off area, which is fantastic. I've got a waste stone. Awesome. Very nice. A uh, few emeralds and gold and yeah, this is definitely a pirate booty area. And uh, that is the nether portal, just that. Cool. Very cool. Alright, so that's good to know. Uh look at the emeralds in the in, in the wall. Hello phone. Every time I make a recording someone is doing this. Um Draconic Evolution Portal. Uh, I don't know what that is for. I, this is, uh, I know you enter a portal to go to a random location, but uh, that could be it. I don't know. I don't know. But at the moment, I'm just sticking my own spawn because this is too much of a good thing not to record and and give you my first hand impressions apart from the ship because I'd already looked around the airship. Uh, so doesn't look like there is a way to get on board the the frigate uh, or the freight frigate freight whatever you want to call it. And we can actually go up here. Let's, oh, there we go. How's that for a view? <laughs> Very nice. Oh, smokestack. Cool. Um, now is that what is that from? Twilight, so we've got the Twilight Forest in here. Alright, cool. If we can go there, I don't know, actually. I'm honest with you. Let's go down here first. Um, let's not get too distracted. Uh, looks like a tower that we can't really get to. And I'm not going to go down there. There's nothing down there. But, uh, yeah, it's a shame that we can't get onto the onto the frigate. I was hoping that we could, but just one of those things. Never mind. Uh, let's have a, another look around up here then. And we'll uh, see if there's anything hidden or done. More palm trees with no block coconuts. I don't really want to go down there because I don't know if I can get back up. <laughs> I'm hoping that I could if I, I wanted to, but uh, yeah. Uh, we've got this. Oh, we've got beacons here. I didn't see these before. Yeah. Very nice. The FTOG colours again. Awesome. And. 
like a, another four bit with the uh, are they oh you know I saw it and I was gonna point it out the uh, there's an animal up here weren't it like, there is the the deer that's from that nature mod isn't it um druids I haven't done that in ages oh roots roots okay yeah roots I haven't done in ages yeah it's you know druid mods roots it's the same sort of thing I, I was on the right lines that's gonna be cool Uh, pink sheep. Uh, looks like someone's building over there. It's pretty cool. Uh, I think that's about it for the spawn area. I don't think there's that much more on this side of this. What I presume is a custom island. If I have a look on on here, unfortunately it's gone all purple. But Thorgo's cam team. <laughs> yeah, it's probably people made this their place, but you can see it's definitely, I think this is definitely a custom island. Uh, really well done. Awesome. See, people think that I'm a, a good builder. I don't hold a candle to these people. I really don't. They are very well done and thought out and made. And uh, I'm lucky that I didn't lose any hearts there because, like I say, I've got no food on me. So, yeah, I think I've got to go through the Draconic Portal. It doesn't quite state on here, but if you go to the fdlg.net website, I think it does actually tell you that. Oh, here we are. Never mind. Uh, there's a random teleport set up in the skull, in the island skull. Twilight Forest is completely disabled due to lag reasons. On. Never mind. Uh, so yeah, I presume I've got to go through that uh, draconic uh, portal for wherever I might end up. Uh, hopefully, be somewhere nice, but who knows? Uh, but uh, I will find somewhere to call home off camera, and I will uh, do some basic setups, build myself a little starter house or whatever, uh, and. Uh, get some basic food and stuff going uh, but yeah I just want to show you spawn uh, I think this is absolutely awesome the team or people that built this should be really proud of themselves it's just absolutely fantastic well done what can I say but other than that uh, thank you very much for joining me. Uh, I hope that you enjoyed this little tour around this brand new server. Thank you very much to the FTOG for providing this. Yes, and that's my phone also saying thank you as well. Uh, and hopefully we'll have a lot of fun on here. Hopefully we'll have a few new adventures. I haven't really got a right lot of plans uh, for what I want to do as yet. I'm leaning towards maybe going towards immersive engineering this time around and uh, trying some stuff on there because it's been a while since I've done that maybe even look at that roots again because again that's been a long time since I did that as well uh, but uh, yeah I think it should be good to be on a uh, on a server and meet some new people and we'll see what happens when happens and hopefully joining with the dragon fight with the FTLG group and everyone else on the server uh, but yeah, like I say, thank you very much for joining me. If you did enjoy today's video, please remember to hit that like button. Uh, and hopefully I'll remember to put everything in, if you decide that you want to join, in my description. If not, I apologise, but uh, I'm sure you'll be able to figure it out. Uh, but uh, yeah, any hints, tips, comments or complaints, feel free to put that down in the comment section below. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye. <laughs>